You guys want to know some thoughts and feelings on some upcoming Nintendo Switch games and which one I am currently looking forward to as of right now. I feel like already there has been dropped so many good games just now recently. I mean Atelier Marie, the new Raincoat game and I'm also playing Story of Seasons still. A wonderful life. But there was a direct and I'm going to give you my thoughts and impressions on all of the announced games that are now coming. And we could start off with the new Super Mario Brothers game called Wonder. It's called Wonder. It's a 2D side-scrolling Mario game. Very traditional stuff. And you guys know what I think about 2D side-scrolling Mario games. Uh, I prefer the 3D Mario games, but I did grow up with the 2D side-scrolling ones. And my favorite 2D Mario, as I've always stated, was Super Mario World. This gives me the vibes that Super Mario World gave me, in a way. And I feel like Nintendo is always good at reimagining the 2D Mario. Uh, it is definitely looking good and his facial expressions are are very prominent in this one, which we like. I will most likely play it, and a lot of people will play it. First party Nintendo titles are always, in my opinion, very polished. So this one could be exciting. It looks like there are some collectibles to be collected. <laughs> and I definitely like the overworld map, the tiny bit that we did see from it. Also, there's multiplayer, and um, something I noticed is that they have dropped the new in the title because they have done that for, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years. New Super Mario Brothers, but now they have dropped that. There's Joshi riding. There's a lot of nods to older 2D Mario games, which I enjoy seeing. Looks kind of good. That Goomba looks so so Well then. Now, another game that I am actually playing right now, and this video is sponsored by Noob the Factionless, a brand new game out now on the Nintendo Switch. Now, in this game, you discover the world of Olidry and you follow in the footsteps of the famous Noob Guild. Noob the Factionless is an old school RPG game with turn based battles, and you follow these friends that are going to play an MMO game, and they're talking about the game, and they get the game, and they are determined to get good in this fictional universe that is the MMO game that they are playing. That is so hilarious. The graphics and colors of this game are really beautiful. You do quests, you meet NPCs, and you meet in-game MMO players, if that makes sense. And I like stories that goes like this, that are breaking the fourth wall, so I am playing Noob the Factionless on my Nintendo Switch. It is also out on the PC, on the PlayStation 5 and 4, and the Xbox. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, and check out Noob the Factionless. Now this one, I didn't see this one coming. Uh, who could actually see this one coming? It's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon Remastered or Remade. Now this was a 3DS game originally and I played it way back on the 3DS. And this game on the 3DS was probably the best graphics I've ever seen on the 3DS. It was really taking all of the advantage from the 3DS console, I feel like. It just looks so good. <laughs> Actually, I can say the same about all of the Luigi's Mansion games. They are so good looking. Now, the thing that I didn't like with Dark Moon was that it was based on episodes. You could no longer free roam the haunted house. This one is more linear and you are doing episodes. It could work for some people, I don't know. I didn't like it originally, that change. But I do love Luigi's Mansion as a series, as a whole. So I know I will be playing this one. Now we have Star Ocean, the second story R, which is a remake of an older game. And this one I'm going to play. I am a new fan of Star Oceans. Remember my video not too long ago that I dived into the newest Star Ocean game, The Divine Force, and I enjoyed that game so much. So I'm a new fan, so this one is good for me. This one is for me. Star Ocean, the second story R. I love the graphical style. It's needless to say what this style is reminding us of. I'm sure you can think of that. <laughs> now it is a classical JRPG and I think you will also maybe like it. I think it looks good anyway. So uh, this one I will be playing. Now the next one, maybe the biggest surprise of the entire uh, presentation that they had a while back now. I'm late to everything. But I was surprised to see that they are remaking Super Mario RPG, the old Super Nintendo game that I have already played so many times. <laughs> already played that and done everything in the game. But I do like that they are keeping that old charm. And this is fully remade. 
fully. I am amazed at what they did with the graphics while still keeping that old charm. All of the characters in this game, they look just like I remember them. And it was the first game where Mario and the Mario universe went into an RPG setting, which I so much enjoyed. And this was the start. This was the game that pioneered Mario RPG going forward. From this, I feel like they got the idea to start Paper Mario. And later on the Mario and Luigi series, this one was the start. And I'm happy to see that the current generation of kids and teenagers and actually everyone that just didn't play the original are now able to dive into this masterpiece of a game. I loved it, the music was stellar and <laughs> the music was good. Such a game, I am looking forward to playing that. A lot of you are. <laughs> My Discord blew up, let's just say. Now this game is called Palia or Palia, probably Palia, which is supposed to be a multiplayer building crafting game and it's going to be free to play. This one I feel like it can go either way. Either it's going to be the big thing that everyone is going to play for the first couple of weeks of the game releasing and it's going to be a huge hype train, probably also talked a lot about on my discord if that is the case, if the game runs good or on the other side the game will flop, not run good, the servers will crash and burn. I'm excited to see him because I like everything that I have seen in the trailer so far with the building and the crafting and you know the social aspects and you yeah, know I like that kind of stuff. I enjoy what I am seeing with Paleo and I'm very curious to see how it will live up to my expectations that I'm already having of it. <laughs> okay this one just needs to come out right now actually. Fay Farm. So ready for this Fay Farm game. I've uh, been seeing it for a very long time, but it is coming out pretty soon. Pretty soon. You guys are also ready for this game. Fay Farm, a beautiful farming life simulator game where you can also play together with friends. This one is also multiplayer. It has several seasons, it has several crops, and you have different ways of watering your crops, definitely with that cloud. You can decorate your home, go out on adventures. It looks like my type of game. Let's be real. I know I have been talking about this game several times on my channel already, but um, um, since it is coming up, I felt like I needed to include it in this video just one more time and next time I talk about it, I will actually have played it, <laughs> hopefully, you know. Now this game definitely made <laughs> my Discord blow up and I blew up as well. Rune Factory Project Dragon. A new Rune Factory game. Actually, Marvelous announced four new games. And this was kind of confusing to me, but let's try to review what they announced. They announced two new Rune Factory games. This one, Project Dragon, which is going to be a spin-off of the original Rune Factory series. As you can see, they are focusing on the more eastern side of things, uh, with the entire look of the entire game. And I get that Genshin Impact feeling when I see the combat in this game. There's a big emphasis on dragons. I like the character art style. I like the colors. You know me by now. This one, I'm actually excited inside of here for. I am very excited about this game. Now they also announced another Rune Factory game, Rune Factory 6, but we got nothing other than the title screen. Do you guys know that I loved Rune Factory 5? I gave that game a 10 out of 10 on my channel, despite its flaws, because the game was so addicting to me. The other two Story of Seasons games that they have announced is one traditional one that's going to be a mainline title. We got a tiny little trailer from that, just showing some environments, some seasonal changes and uh, some animals. That was it. And the other one, we only got still shots, like concept art from. And with this game, they tried to explain it more than show it off. They are going multiplayer in this game. A new Story of Seasons game, multiplayer. We know nothing, so we will just have to wait and see what they mean. <laughs> what do they mean with that? And how good is it going to run? We never know. That's the exciting thing, <laughs> isn't it? You know, nowadays it's like, yeah, we're excited for all of the games that are coming out, but in the back of our head, we're thinking, will it run good? <laughs> We are so damaged right now. Now, 
the last game and this one I found by accident actually. It's called Kitori Academy, but look how good it looks. This one is announced for the Switch, but I don't know when it's coming out. But it has that Hogwarts legacy feeling to it, just with a more cel-shaded graphical style. It has farming in it, where you're squeezing some sort of creature to water your crops. You can collect bugs, you can decorate your home, you can own cats. That's sold. And I very much like how this game looks. So it seems to me like it is in the genre that we love. Life sim farming game. Kitori Academy. It's coming for Steam and Switch. No, that was funny. So I wanna know, what games are you guys looking forward to? Because this is what came to mind immediately when I thought about it. Because I'm really happy right now with the games that I do have. And I keep saying that with every video that I do with upcoming games, that I'm currently very happy. I mean, we can't complain at this point. I started Master Detective Archives. Rain code, and I am so immersed. I'm solving detective mysteries right now. I'm happy. But we always like to look forward to stuff because that's how we are as human beings. Now make sure you check out Noob the Factionless, the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much again. And I would like you to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and join the Discord and listen to Disky Disk. I never get that, do I? I will never get that. I would also appreciate it if you hit like on my video before you leave. And thank you so much for watching today. And I will see you later.